Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and this is the new Surface Go, and you can see it's got really thick bezels, almost an inch uh, into the tablet screen. However, it's a nice shape, uh, it's very rounded around the outsides. So I've got the Surface Pro 4 pen attached to the side. Again, that's the only one they had in the store. And the magnet's nice. It holds onto the pen firmly. It feels like it's not out of place. Uh, the edges are soft. feels like it was made for uh, kids' hands, which really is not a bad thing. And uh, they did a, a good job with how it feels in your hands. The hinge mechanism feels like the same one on the... Uh, new Surface Pro doesn't feel like it's a cheaper version. You've got your micro SD card slot in there. Uh, overall, a little heavier in my. It feels a little heavier than the iPad Pro, um, but you've got a wonderful USB C port. You can charge it, you know, with a Nintendo Switch charger in your car if, <laughs> if you wanted to, which is nice. So here I'm in OneNote and I'm testing out the just kind of note-taking experience and it's okay uh the pen feels nice but they didn't have on hand the new surface pen so i'm using the surface pro 4 pen uh, which is is fine but it doesn't feel like the initial activation force is the same as it would be with the new surface pen which uh, supports also 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity but I do like how light the tablet is. It's not quite as light as I would have imagined, uh, but it is easy. The uh, aspect ratio of the screen is actually very nice. It feels like holding a small book or medium-sized book. So I'm doing a couple of jitter tests here, and uh, you can see the initial activation force or the IF issues here. So uh, I adjust the pressure levels of the pen in the Surface app to uh, three to see if it makes a difference. And it does seem to make a little bit of difference, but using the pen, you're not seeing that line, uh, thin to thick variance that you'd like to see, uh, probably pen related. So here we'll switch to three. And by the way, uh, for artists, I recommend having your pressure sensitivity set to three for almost all apps. Uh, some of them have a really good, um, and the pressure sensitivity is set up really nicely already, but not the case with everything else. Uh, so here, not making any improvements, so I switch back to the pencil. Uh, so I, I would look at this and just go, okay, it feels, from my test here, I'd say it feels very much like the new Surface Pro experience. Uh, jitter seems to be negligible. Um, difference, neg negligible difference between the new Surface Pro and this screen. They feel very, very similar. Uh, the device is also pretty snappy, which I, I was kind of surprised. I, I have, or I just recently sold my M3 new Surface Pro. And I figured, and that one's a little bit slow, a little laggy, and I figured this would be the same way. It does feel a little snappier, and that's this just in these basic modes that I'm using as a S mode of Windows. So it's definitely a little bit uh, hard to tell how that's going to play out when you were using actual Surface or the actual Windows 10 um, full version. So I put in a, a pre-order for this device uh, as I, I like having a device for casual sketching and for OneNote uh, if I'm taking a class or I'm uh, at church and I'm taking notes. So this should be better. The iPad Pro, really for note taking, I, I have to admit, I don't like it. Uh, for other things, it's fantastic and it's way easier to read outside and the brightness of the screen is fantastic and it's phenomenal outside. Uh, but just the pen experience is, is clicky and loud and the pressure sensitivity is, is just not quite on par. It does have less jitter. So in between the iPad Pro 
and the surface or surface go you're going to have less jitter on the the ipad pro but you are uh, also going to have a lot less function on the ipad pro and they're and they're catching up but there's no button on the side of the pen there's no hotkeys on the side and while drawing on the ipad all, <laughs> really like all i can think of is like how annoyed i am that i i can't quickly undo my strokes in a comfortable place like i'm used to doing on a windows device so for now um we're gonna see how it fares and if the surface go uh, is more enjoyable to use out and about which uh, my initial impression is is that it's not going to be as sexy as the ipad pro but it should be um, a better option for me personally for for school and learning in church all right, you guys, I know you're going to have questions. I'm going to do a full review when I get the device next week. So please subscribe so that you're notified when that comes out.